Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. I'm founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Today, I'm very excited. We have one of the top business leaders, Lisa Sasevich, who is considered the queen of sales conversion. She was ranked on the prestigious Inc. 500 5000 list of America's fastest growing private companies for two years in a row and has been honored as the Extraordinary Entrepreneur of the Year by Women Online Magazine. After 25 years of winning top sales awards and training senior executives at companies like Pfizer, Hewlett Packard, she left corporate America and in just a few short years created a multi-million dollar home-based business. And the most impressive part was while raising two toddlers. I think above all, that's, that's super <laughs> impressive. You know, she's the author of an Amazon best-selling book, Boost Your Sales, How to Use Irresistible Offers Without Being Salesy. Lisa, thanks for joining me. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. And you're right. Of all the jobs I do, the most important one and the hardest one yeah. is the, the, the job of mom, the wonderful role of mom. I think sometimes people say, how do you do it all? They'll see me out on the road and I'll, you know, this is actually the easy part. <laughs> Being out here speaking, talking to you, right? Like, uh, you know, the, my kids are um, 8 and 11 right now. And yeah. so it's just, I love their age. They're so fun. You know, they're they're in that middle time where... I can still kind of like pick them up and tell them where to be, uh, but they're also totally independent. They can pack their own lunch and carry their own suitcase. So it's just, I love this window. I'm like, can I just freeze time right now? That is impressive. <laughs> and you, when you hear someone starting such a successful business in general and balancing all those things, it's tough. How old were they when you first started um, your business? You know, it's been over six years, so they were a newborn and a three-year-old. Wow. Um, How did you do that? That's crazy. <laughs> you know, they actually, you know how they say necessity is the mother of invention. A, a lot of the way my business got started was uh, during, you know, there was a 14-year period where I was married to a man who was becoming a heart surgeon. So wow. we're talking applying to medical school, fellowship, residency. You know, it's a, it's a legend Sierra's dad, Michael. And we had to move almost, you know, we moved to Guadalajara for medical school, New York for residency, Loma, you know, we, we moved everywhere in every couple of years. So, you know, a lot of it was learning how to be portable. I, you know, I didn't want to go apply and get a new corporate job every yeah. two years. So learning how to be able to speak and, you know, get out there wherever I was, learning how to put my business online and be able to serve people no matter where I was and no matter where they are was all really from necessity originally, wow. yeah. you know, just wanting to be able to keep rocking it and take my work, you know, as long as I have my phone and my computer, to be able to take my work with me. So the kids, you know, grew up with that kind of freedom and flexibility. Uh, they've always been very mobile. So we, we, we made it a point to never get landlocked with the kids. So we, we travel together mm -hmm. and... You know, it's it's pretty cool. It's really a, like a dream. That's uh, tough, actually. You know, you're moving every few years. So what was, did you have a process when you landed in a new place of what you did to kind of get rolling? You know, it, it really is, um, you know, with, with what I do, teaching sales conversion, you know, what we teach about, you know, being able to have one talk and, and then take it wherever you go, one yeah. talk and one offer whether you're picking up the phone and leading it on a teleseminar or a webinar or going up and showing live somewhere, yeah. um, that it was really, I just, as long as I had, my dad, I don't know if you know this about me, yeah. it's kind of a fun fact actually, um, but he was a world famous ventriloquist. And I mean, he got so well known, he, he lived in Miami Beach that he traveled the world three times and he was on the Ed Sullivan show twice. He also played Radio City Music Hall. This is like a mile long stage in New York, right? Opening for Xavier Cougar. So he was in like the Latin Jewish craze in Miami Beach. Mm. He even had a dummy named Chico Chico that spoke like with broken English, but cracked Yiddish jokes. You know? so, so he, one of the- I was trying to find a video of that on YouTube and I could not find one. You can find pictures of him. Yeah, I this, found you know, Google images. passed yeah. away four years ago mm -hmm. in his mid 70s. So Sorry to hear that. Yeah. Not, they didn't quite have YouTube, you know, rocking right, out at that right. time. But, but they're, they're, you know, the, the biggest gift he gave me and really my turning point and, you know, was he said to me, and this is how he did it in his life, is he said, Lisa, don't change your act, change your audience. 
And when I was doing all that moving around, you know, I realized that why it was successful and why we've had, you know, this home-based business that's done over $25 million of sales is because I don't try to create a new act, a new presentation, a new product, a new program every week for everything that I'm doing. Yeah. And this is really what we teach is, you know, I have one signature talk, one main irresistible offer yeah. that it's just taking that act that works, that serves, and getting it in front of as many audiences, you know, of my ideal clients that I can. And yeah. that's how we've been so efficient. That's how we've served people in 134 countries. Um, and, you know, I think that most people that go into business for themselves, they're just trying to jump through hoops and reinvent the wheel all the time. They're staying up till two in the morning, creating something new for tomorrow's presentation. For sure. And you never get known for something. You never get in your groove. You never get good at it. Um, and it can just feel like the hard part of being an entrepreneur where it's a lot of work and not a lot of payoff. So thank you to my dad, yeah. you know, really for anyone listening that resonates with this, that's in that cycle of reinventing all the time, consider don't change your act, change your audience, you know, and in our campus, your act is called your signature talk with your irresistible offer. So I yeah. mean, there it is. Great talking to you. That's my life. <laughs> <laughs> hardly, hardly. Actually, I want to go back. To how you got to Lisa today, but first I want to ask about the irresistible offer because you know boost your sales. How to use irresistible offers without being salesy? Yeah. Tell people what is an irresistible offer. Sure. And by the way, I think that thing hit number one on a bunch of categories on Kindle. Not sure about Amazon. Um, so if anybody's out there looking for it, and, and but before Kindle, we go, I've got gotcha. a bunch of free starter gifts for you guys anyway. Um, so what was your question about uh, what is an irresistible offer? Ah, got it. So, you know, Jeremy, I do what I do. We look like a sales training company for entrepreneurs on the outside, but really what drives me and my whole team and really our clients is we want to make a difference. You know, we yeah. left corporate to do our blessing, that or our expertise, that thing that fuels us that we care about. So, it's a really huge shift when you go from you know, selling for someone else, which I did for years, I was top salesperson, won all the awards, yeah. to the first time you actually make an offer for your own work, whether it's your own coaching, your own speaking, your own in-office practice. I remember the first time that I got out there and spoke to about 30 women at a women's networking event mm -hmm. and I was talking about, the, you know, I didn't have any platform, no branding, no queen of sales conversion. It was just, what had I done for the companies that I worked for that helped them be so successful? And, you know, like many of you listening, like all I could see at the time was I knew I helped to package offers. I knew that I had a way to price and package and position things that always made them more successful. Yeah. So I went in to talk to this group about irresistible offers is what I called it. And I remember I was wearing a silk blouse, which I will never do again. And there were about 30 women. I mean, it wasn't a stage, wasn't a mic. I had an AOL account. I couldn't take a check or, you know, <laughs> or anything. I mean, I just showed up to give. Yeah. And, you know, at the end, I said, if you want to buy like a two hour session with me so I can look at what you're selling and help you make it more irresistible, it's 297 bucks. I mean, it wasn't a certified coach. I didn't have a product, a program, nothing. Just to, just knew I was good at this thing. Yeah. Like everyone listening, you've got your thing, the thing people come to you for. Yeah. They always come to you to change their mindset. They always come to you to fix their relationship. They always come to you with the, for real estate help. Yeah. You know, whatever your thing is. So. You know, I remember the first time I made an offer for me, not for Pfizer, not for Hewlett Packard, but for my work. Yeah. I had sweat rings like down. <laughs> I mean, I, I like you couldn't even hide it. Like even if I put my arms down, they would show. But my hands were visibly shaking. Like you know, it was. Um, you know, I'll never forget it. And I know because this is who my clients are. Even the experts with the most letters after their name. That's, you know, one field of study is your expertise, but this other field of study that you want to like pause this to work on this is conversion. Yeah. How do I get the message out so that it's irresistible? So an irresistible offer is really just a way to make your invitation without being salesy and to package it in a way that the person listening wants it. They're, they're thrilled that you asked. They're like, yeah. yes, that, that's the help I've been looking for. I, I Here's my credit card, please. You know, help me have the body of my dreams, the business of my dreams, the legacy I want to leave, you know, 
plug in what you do. Um, and so it's really about packaging your invitation so that it raises that tension inside someone like, oh, I'm here, I want to be there, and they have the answer, right? And, yes. and that, that is really, there are specific elements that make an offer irresistible. Um, yeah, and, that was my next question, which is, so how can someone go about designing an irresistible sure. offer? Hey, I'm happy to open the vault. Uh, <laughs> in fact, this is uh, straight out of you know our, our flagship program that you, you may have even heard of, I'm sure, is yeah. called Speak to Sell Bootcamp. Yeah. And I know that word has like the two biggest fears, speaking and selling, all in one sentence, right? But it's really for people that love what they do but hate the sales part. So yeah. they just want to pour their expertise into our structure. Just fill in the blanks and be able to use free presentations, free speaking to close sales without being salesy and, yeah. and more than one person at a time, right? Instead of just one-on-one -on -one to be able to, you know, get 12 people in your living room and make your offer and have eight of them say yes, right? So For sure. before I tell you the elements, it, it brings up a good story. Uh, just as an example, so everybody, you know, listening to these elements has a place to put it. Because if you're sort of like, wait, I don't even see how I'd make an offer, I, I'm a doctor, you know, or uh, I'm an author. So it really, any service professional, any expert, this, this is gold. And just to give you an example, um, recently uh, someone who bought Speak to Sell, the Speak to Sell boot camp and went through it online, she was working full time, so she did it at nights and weekends when she could listen. Um, she, this woman, Doreen, she, uh, for 25 years, Jeremy, was a high school college counselor. So like when the high school students are getting ready to go to college, she advised them. And in, after 25 years, you know, she shared with me that her salary was $4,000 a month. Okay, after 25 years. Wow. And she loves her work and she never wanted to jeopardize it. Yeah. So somebody introduced her, you know, in, in a setting like this. She, she opened her mind to, wow, what if I could take that expertise beyond the, the 40 hours a week? No, right. she didn't want to leave it. She loved it. Yeah. So she did exactly what I was saying. She got 12 women, moms, together in her living room that she knew were calling her for extra advice, wanting to, you know how they say they want to pick your brain. This is yeah. the cure for people who want to pick your brain. Um, <laughs> and uh, she got them in her living room, and she just followed our fill-in-the-blanks formula, which has to do with, you know, teaching, like really giving a big section of what you do and getting people started, yeah. generously giving, and then saying, hey, you know, in an hour I was able to give you this, but you can imagine if you could let me walk, you know, that was one step. But imagine if I could walk you through all five steps yeah. of getting your kid to college. You can imagine how much that would change their future, right? For sure, yeah. So then she would follow our structure and state the offer. There's just like specific things to say. It's not a script, just very natural. And to her own surprise, you know, she, after, like I said, 25 years of $4,000 a month, she made an offer for $997 that they would get four private phone calls just to work on getting their kid into college. Mm -hmm. And then people one would pay anything for that. Probably, you know, they, could, they people oh, pay I, big I, money I, for that. Yeah, will, it's true, right? It's yeah. life. It's life altering moment. Yeah. So, and then the bonus, which we'll talk about in a moment was that they could come together as a group and she'd help them actually fill out their applications together. You know, everybody go to line one, everybody go to line two. So she, that's called leveraging your time, right? So she had the one-on-one -on -one sessions and then she had the group. Well, to her own surprise, all 12 wow. women bought the $997 package. She made $12,000 in her living room that night. And Doreen's husband, who happens to also be a client, he's in a whole different industry. Um, he's in the, the seafood business. Um, he said, like, he had been wanting this for her for 25 years, you know, for the whole marriage, the whole time. He knew it. And and the school is actually thrilled and really supportive that she has this extra program. So she didn't have to sacrifice anything in her job. And all these years, while her husband was encouraging her, what held her back was thinking that it would be maybe out of integrity or it would take something away from the work she was doing, yeah. only to find out that now she's created this beautiful upward spiral effect, you know. And... So that changed their life. He says she's changing the tile everywhere, recarpeting, painting. The <laughs> so, so I mean, it's kind of like I want you know, I'll be happy to share the elements. It's right yeah. out of module one of our Speak to Self program. But I want you guys to have a place to place yeah. it in your brain. Yeah, it's um, a good visual. I like that. Yeah. I mean, really, anybody can do it. I've had a cosmetic laser clinic where they do 
cosmetic laser facelifts. No, no needles, no, uh, you know, um, no knives required. And um, that doctor just started bundling in as a bonus when you buy our five series cosmetic laser facelift for three thousand dollars, you're gonna get a twelve hundred dollar underarm laser hair removal because it's the same five sessions you're already on the table. Mm -hmm cost him almost nothing. The perceived value is huge. It's huge, yeah. We started bringing groups of about a dozen to about, about a dozen women in once a week into his unused conference room. And before we know it, we're having twenty five and thirty five thousand dollar weeks wow. just from those evenings. That's I mean amazing. that's transformational for a, a medical practice. For any, right? Yeah, for sure. So you know that's the gamut from the high school college counselor, you know, to the cosmetic laser <laughs> doctor. What I'm about to share with you, you guys can use right away. Yeah. Uh, so it's pretty quick. Do you want me to just share yeah, something? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, okay. take it away. Well, let's see. The, the simplest way to think about it, and this is kind of cool because whether you're packaging an offer or somebody's making you an offer, once I show you these three distinctions, you're going to always see it differently. Right. You know, right. I just coming at you like this. But one don't even tell us. I don't want the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually good. You're gonna, it'll make you okay. appreciate. Yeah, I'm not going to be a spoiler. No spoiler. It's alert. okay. <laughs> um, it, this will actually make you appreciate offers more yeah. because instead of them be, seeming confusing, because most people who don't have these distinctions, their invitation comes at you like a jarble. Yeah. Now you're, it's going to come at you as something that you can really digest okay. and choose. Okay. Yeah. So that it's really to empower the buyer and the seller. All right. Um, so there's three simple things. It's actually really quick. The every offer has what we call number one a main dish, and the main dish. You know, think of it like a plate. It's the steak. It is the main way that you're going to deliver that outcome that you deliver. So if you're helping people have a better relationship with their spouse or find the love of their life. The main dish might be that it's a five call teleseries every Wednesday at one o'clock and you're going to walk them through a curriculum. Mm -hmm. If you're helping people to um, heal their pain as maybe a chiropractor, the main dish would be maybe that they come into your office three times a week for 90 days. Okay, so it's the main way that you deliver a specific outcome or transformation that is uniquely yours to deliver. That's it. Okay, yeah. but you have to distinguish that. So the, you, it's really like this separate thing that, in and of itself, it has a price tag. You can buy it any time. That's the main dish. Mm -hmm. Now, what starts to get us in? That's the offer. What starts to get on the map of irresistible is step two and three. All right, and, I like uh, the irresistible part. Yeah, in part. Yeah. So step two is bonuses. So bonuses, simply put, are something that the person buying the main dish would probably also buy. They would want it too. Mm -hmm. Like it's that juicy that they would pay for it. So that all of a sudden when you throw it in free, it's like, wow, if I get it free today, you know, I get that $1,200 laser hair removal, but no. it's only today. Maybe I won't go talk to my husband. <laughs> you know, maybe I'm just going to go for it. I'll talk to him later. So it does have that effect of having people push themselves and it takes away you being pushy or you pursuing them. And that's what we want, right? We don't want to be the, the pushy person. Right. So you don't have to seem desperate or pushy or salesy. The bonus and that goes couples with step three, which is the limiter, step three is the limiter, when you couple those together and you say, I have this great bonus, and then you use a limiter, and there are two kinds of limiters, time and quantity. Mm -hmm. So you either say, yeah, this is for those of you that are here at our introductory evening tonight. If you're ready to go tonight, then you not only get our special price, but you also get our $1,200 underarm hair removal. Um, and if you're not ready to go, no problem. We'll extend the discount through next week. But if you only said we're going to extend the discount through next week, people leave and they really don't come back. So you need that, you know, in that case, it's a tonight only. Now, some of you who are in corporate sales, you know, there's all these like beliefs about, well, it takes six months and there's committee meetings and we need a PO and we have a long sales cycle. I hear it all the time until they do our work. And all of a sudden when they say, here, here's the, here's the proposal and, you know, you guys have till the end of the month, but if you happen to figure it out by Friday, we'll throw in an extra half day of training for your support staff, which is usually $3,000. But since I'm coming out anyway, I'll stay, you know, assuming you can figure it out by Friday before I need to book my tickets. Yeah. 
all of a sudden that six month sales cycle gets done in two or three days. I see it all the time. Um, I just had an interior designer who was struggling so much that she was ready to go get a job. She started using this and, and this is, you know, interior design, architecture, landscaping, pools, roofs. These, these, are, these are businesses where notoriously, you know, as service professionals, you do so much of the work up front just to win the business and you haven't gotten paid anything. Right, yeah. Well, she started switching the ratio using our, you know, what I'm teaching and, and specifically one little piece from module one, bonus, you know, main dish, bonuses, limiter, right? Yeah. Um, and she landed, well, she made 60 grand doing that her first year, went from almost getting a job went up to 250 grand the next mm -hmm. year and then just last year she landed the Petco Pooch hotels so those Amazing. dog hotels now yeah. she she designed them <laughs> within 3 days and it was a six figure contract Amazing. using exactly what i just shared with you yeah. having a main dish of how she do it but also some bonuses and then a limiter yeah. and yeah. so the other limiter is quantity you might say like the first, you know, five people that book an appointment with me to talk about your tax saving strategies, yeah. uh, they're also going to get this training on um, the top three simple real estate investments that you can make with your tax savings. Something like yeah. that. Yeah. No, yeah. thank you so for sharing that. That's bonuses, that's limiters, and again, this is just a piece. Jeremy, what it really is is it's it's module one of Speak to Sell, but what's interesting is it's actually the end right you do the talk and then you make your offer so it's funny but module one is we start with the end and then we reverse engineer the talk to lead yeah. to the so. yeah no I was reading one of your blog posts and it said you know that if someone calls you in to listen to their last 15 minutes that that's an issue because it's not the last 15 minutes you have to build everything up so yeah. I love what you said there about having to reverse engineer and going back to the beginning Yes, yes. Perfect. Yeah, it's like the answer is in the question, Grasshopper. If you think you botched your last 15 minutes, go ahead and send me your first 15 minutes right. because, you know, that's actually step two of our Speak to Sell formula is we, we get the irresistible offer figured out. Then we go back and figure what would be the body of the talk? What would yeah. be the teachings that would really make that make sense? And then it's actually step three. We go back to the first 15 minutes and say, well, now, how would you need to position yourself? How would you need to position your audience so that it's all built backwards and it feels really good. Yeah. Yeah. Another one of your videos you talk about, you do things unconsciously that you don't even know you do that just well, work. Yeah. And so I'm curious because you've been perfecting this, this speak to sell bootcamp over years and years and years. I'm wondering of what things you started to include in there yeah. that you were getting feedback on that was working really well that maybe you did more of or you yes. know what you added that unconscious component you know I think one of the biggest things that I'm constantly you know they call it your there's what you're consciously competent right you know you do it well right. and then there's this whole category of unconscious competence you do it well but you don't even know you do it well yeah. and really for you know any of you thinking of having your own business or maybe you already do that's where the magic is, is if you can figure out that thing that's like easy for you but hard for everybody else, right. and then you can uncover your personal system of how you do that and teach even 10% of it to other people. I mean, really, I do have a ton of unconscious competence with this, but even, you know, if I did $25 million in business and I could even just transfer to you 10% mm -hmm. of how I do it in a system, would you be okay doing two and a half million dollars of business? You know, right. yeah. <laughs> like, so so it's not that we're ever going to be able to transfer the entirety of right. our competence, but you know, part of our work when people come into our Speak to Sell bootcamp, the first thing they actually get before they even get to the irresistible offer is this pre-course assignments mm -hmm. that have you actually start to distinguish what is your system on how you get those great results. Why does everybody always come to you for that? You know, how are you outperforming everyone else in that right, area? Right. And when you start to see the steps you're taking, that's the key to start being able to teach other people. So the biggest area to answer your question, which actually is now module three, so I don't think I could have planted you better with that question, module three in Speak to Sell, and the biggest area that I'm constantly uncovering my own competence yeah. is seeding. So this is sort of this, this art. Yeah, tell me about this, yeah creating hunger and desire in your listener, in your audience, in your participant without being pushy or salesy. 
So I'm seeding a ton right now. You know, I'm talk everything I teach, I'm tying it back to some module in Speak to Sell. I'm talking about when you register, this pre-work you get. And, you know, we didn't pre-plan this conversation, no. and yet, yeah. you know, you are giving me the perfect openings to continue to share that which I'm so passionate about, that, that every entrepreneur who wants to make a difference and make money doing it has a talk and an offer. Yeah. So every time you hear me, for example, talking about something but also referencing where it came from mm -hmm. that is one of the seeding techniques that we teach mm -hmm. if you're teaching something out of you know one of your courses or something you do in your office make sure to tell people give them give it to them i mean don't hold back a lot of people think they're seeding when they're like well i'm not going to teach you that but if you do my course you can have it right. i mean that's like slimy that makes you want to go take a shower you know <laughs> but when you're generous and you say look let me give you that piece you asked me for, Jeremy, on exactly the elements of making an offer. And hey, if you guys like this, it came from module one of my Speak to Sell boot camp. You, you give people value, right. but the seeding part is you show them where they would go if they want to get more. Just like if you saw a great movie, you would tell me, like, I just saw this. It's over here at the Landmark Theater. It's this Argentine film. You know, I think it's playing till Wednesday. See it 3D instead of, you know, like, you would show me how to access it and we don't do that when we're selling our own services because mm -hmm. we have this fear yeah. that it will seem pushy or salesy but if you change your come from that it's actually it would be a disservice not to it would be a disservice for me to teach you all this great stuff and never mention that if you're listening and you're like oh my god this is what I need I'm totally reinventing the wheel I've been looking for you and I never tell you that Speak to Sell Bootcamp is available to you no matter where you live. Yeah. I feel like that is like me opening up a yeah. possibility and then just leaving you hanging. Yeah. Yeah. And again, this is not scripted at all. Yeah. It, it's so interesting because how did you discover that you, again, it's unconscious. How did you discover yeah. that you are just fantastic at seating? Because once you know that, you can just do yeah. more of it. When did well, you, you asked. You actually answered the question when you asked yeah. it to me. You said what stuff people were asking you more of, I see. and so the, it for you know when you're just getting started, you have to move forward with good enough. You you know if I waited to have the Mona Lisa where I had you know, now I've got the speak to sell formula. You fill in the blanks. You get your talk. I even have it online. I have an automated signature talk generator that's part of the course. So you watch a little video. And then you fill in the blanks on creating your credibility. You watch a video, you fill in the blanks on creating your vulnerability so people yeah. can connect. You know, it's, but in the beginning, I didn't have that. So it's actually the other cool thing about speaking free to be able to build your business is it, it's how you get that stuff. You know, people, can you say more about that? What is it you just did right there where you said it came from module one? Like, you know, and so it was really, it's from being out there with your ideal client and seeing what they ask and interacting and working together that you can distinguish your system. Yeah. You know, and then we created a system called Discover Your Unique Branded System that actually comes with our course so that while you're working and while you're building your talk and your offer, you're also paying attention in your life and in your business to your system and you can start to see oh there is a method behind my madness yeah because i'm sure jeremy every time you interview someone if we started to look at the system you'd be like you know i always ask them about a, a fun fact that nobody knows right it's your system right right for sure yeah so really people start paying attention to what questions they're getting from other people uh, mm -hmm. And kind of shed some light on what their unique ability or yeah yeah. You know. um, so that brings me again. We talk about overnight success after twenty five years. <laughs> right. So tell me about corporate America. What did you learn from? Because you were winning all these sales awards. You were doing yeah. this for big companies. What did you learn in that part of your life? You know, for me, um, it, it kind of hinges on a personal story. Uh, my mom, when I was 19 years old, she was diagnosed and then passed away with lung cancer. I'm so sorry. And, yeah. you know, it was shocking. It happened really fast. Uh, we brought her home. She died in my arms. I, I mean, you know, if it has to go that way, you couldn't have asked for a more, like, conscious experience. Um, but I, when we had her wake, when people came to honor her, I mean, she was a magnificent woman. She was 48. She did so many good things, and she worked out of a little cubicle at a big, a big company. And even in her cubicle, for example, she'd have like 
stuffed animals hanging all over the place that people could buy and she'd give the money to charity. You know, I mean, she just was always doing great things Giving, like that. Yeah. You know, she'd get the animals donated and then she'd sell them and give the money to cancer research mm -hmm. or Battered Women's Foundation, things that she believed in. Yeah. And it, as amazing as she was, people always saw her as more amazing. But she was limited by being a single mom and having kids. She felt limited. So at her wake, like when people came to pay their respects, the conversation I was hearing was all of this, God, if she just would have, and it would have been so great if she could have, and I, you know, she really should have. And it just like reverberated in me. And, you know, I started doing some personal development work. The first thing I found was called the Landmark Forum sure. many years ago. And I, I just, something clicked in me, Jeremy, that I didn't want to live. I was unwilling to live, no matter how long or short my life, was not going to be a woulda, coulda, shoulda story. Yeah. You know, I mean, I love my mom and she did amazing things and her life was cut short and it was a woulda, coulda, shoulda, you know, reverberation um, mm. after her life. And I, I just, I got on the move, you know, and um, through Landmark Education, I learned that you can design your life. You asked, you know, earlier when we were speaking who some of my mentors are, that, you know, you can design your life. You are not, you know, only stuck with the cards that you were dealt. And I've been able to take that further to say, you know, you can design your business because your business is your life. And the profound thing about the irresistible offer is that the offers you make are your life. Yeah. I mean, you're going to deliver on what you sell. So if you sell 80 people into a 10 week coaching session, that's how you're going to spend your energy, your time, you know, your life. So, you know, I am always a stickler with people that study with me. It's, I'm not just a, you know, get it done, no matter what, business mentor. For me, you have to love it. Yeah. You have to love the offer that you made and love not just making the money and having the new clients, but the delivery. You've got to look forward to it. Yeah. And the minute you don't, you need to rework the design. You know? yeah. So from corporate, I got into the groove like most people do, following the normal path, where I had a double life. I was doing, you know, things that to make money for from nine to five. And then on nights and weekends, I was doing my passion. Mm. And I think because of that, not gonna lead a woulda, coulda, shoulda existence, it was mm. like my late 20s, early 30s, where I said, you know what? No more. I'm gonna figure out how to do, make my difference and make money and be doing that all the time. And now that's what we do, that's what we teach. Yeah. You know, that's what our, sales structures empower people to do is yeah. to make a huge difference and make money doing it yeah. and that's that's you know kind of where yeah. i came from to come to that conclusion yeah. thanks for yeah. sharing that that's sure. that's got to be very painful of course um, you know it's, everything's got its blessings right yeah. um i feel my mom she talks to me you know it was, yeah. it was a long time ago and look what the gift she gave to yeah. the world by birthing that fire in me yeah she pushes you yeah, to do more. Um, what was your passion like then compared to now? Was it the same? Was it the same passion to sell, or did it change throughout the years at all? When I mean, you're doing it the you night know, and weekends. My passion. Well, there's a couple things. Back then, like many people, it's painful where you know you have a gift to give, but you don't know how to articulate it. You don't know how to get it out. You know, and and I sat there for a long time. And that's why I am more passionate than ever now to help move people into really living that vision, not just being stuck with it. Yeah. So, and that's the other thing. When people do our course, here's another seed. One of the pre-works, there's two. There's the system part, seeing your system. But the other part that we give you right up front, like literally they register, they click, they register, and it's in their inbox, is um, a, another piece of training from me where I walk you through and it has a worksheet on articulating your million dollar value. What is your offer? What is that unique transformation that's like inside you, you can feel it, but when you try to describe it to your mother-in-law, she mm. goes, huh? <laughs> you know, how, how do you get the exact words? My mother-in-law says that to me a lot, so I'm gonna have to pay attention, no. Yes, I'll send it over to you. Yeah. So, yeah, so, so my passion, you know, the more I distinguish my systems, the more I know I can help people, the more on fire I am to make sure that, you know, we get our work out to I'm not I'm not passionate about sales actually just so you know I'm not at all I'm passionate about transformation and transformation does not happen 
unless somebody sees a new possibility, which is really what your talk does, it opens a world, mm -hmm. and then they get the invitation to step into it. Mm -hmm. So I could care less about sales, but I really care that people get the opportunity to see a new possibility and then an invitation that gives them the chance to make it real. Mm -hmm. And that's really what we're up to. Yeah. So Lisa, tell me about when you decide to leave, because it's also, even though you have this passion, it's also not easy to leave corporate America when you oh, yeah. have two kids, what was yeah. that like at the time when you decided to do that? Well, when I left corporate, I didn't have the kids yet, but I'll tell you, handing oh. back that Ford Taurus company car and, um, you know, all of the different ways, you know, the 401k and the prizes yeah. that I had won, you know, yeah. you lose your points for prizes. Um, it's scary. Yeah. It's scary. And, you know, it's another gift that my mom gave me. I don't know if I've ever talked about this, but... You know, I think her whole life savings was it was in the house that little house that we lived in. Mm. And so after everything was all said and done, I got fifty thousand dollars in a bank account, you know, from my mom. And I sat on it and didn't do anything with it for many years. And um, when I finally I was working for Pfizer, I had about a two year lifespan at corporate at corporations until I just like could not handle the paperwork and justifying my existence through paperwork anymore. And so I um you know, I decided to go off and do my own thing and I got involved in some crazy network marketing thing that turned out to be kind of a bust. But, you know, it was, was a blessing because it made me take the leap. And, you know, from there I actually started using my time going into a relationship company, another personal development company and helping them to enroll more people because these were courses that I believed in. Right. And it's interesting because that's actually where all my work comes from. You know, people will say, will it work for me if I don't have a product? Will it work for me if I'm not teaching business? Yeah. Well, actually everything I developed came from my passion of having people buy a course that helped women to create better relationships with men. So it worked in the relationship space. So really um, was for everybody that's selling that intangible, you know, chiropractic, what do you, you don't walk out with a box? Um, you know, like, like all of the services, service based the, stuff. you know, the, 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 the Eastern and Western medicine that you can't see, um, you know, if you're a lawyer, a financial planner, a health professional, we're all selling the intangible. Right. And it just, it requires a different language, a different set of rules. Yeah. And, you know, when I was pushing Viagra for Pfizer. Like, <laughs> Is that an easy sell or no? Um, well, you get a lot of calls from people who are not really prescribing it, but they sure want the samples. <laughs> <laughs> so... Transition to two kids, what was the hardest part about running the business with two young kids? Yeah, it's, it's a great question. Um, you know, like most people who want to make a difference doing their own thing, I started out, you know, selling one-on-one, -on -one, just having conversations and people saying, sure, I'll work with you, and then serving one-on-one, -on -one. so coaching, basically. and. That model, if you're in it, you know, or if you have a practice, you know, you're selling one-on-one -on -one and you're serving one-on-one, -on -one, that model has a cap, right? Like, especially if it's really one-on-one, -on -one, like you're a solopreneur, it's got a cap of about eighty dollars to $120,000 a year, and at that point, you hate your life. Right. Like, you love what you do, you're but every client, it. it means yeah. you're not working out, you're, it's an hour less with my kids, you know? Yeah. And so I got to that point. I was so proud of myself that I was, you know, up to that 80 to 120 as a coach, not a certified coach, just someone giving my advice. Yeah. But um, it was hard because I knew I had a cap. I knew I couldn't go any further and I knew I couldn't keep a living like that. Yeah. So I think, you know, if I could share one more, like really, um, I don't know, maybe even two more, but, but this one um, huge, huge distinction that changed everything for me is that once, the first thing that happened is I started what we'll call, you know, people say, leverage, I wanna leverage myself, you know, and they think about serving groups, group programs, but I actually wanna break it down for you further because this is really where the magic is. Yeah. When I started leveraging my selling, getting the word out instead of one by one by one, meet this person at Starbucks, go to this networking meeting, have another Starbucks, you know, people want to pick your brain. It just, it's an endless cycle that doesn't go very far, very fast. Yeah. When I learned how to create my act, my talk, and make my offer to more than one person, whether it's Doreen in her living room with 12 people or me in the back of the Olive Garden with a, with a chamber of commerce in Tucson, Arizona, yeah. um, all of a sudden, the leverage, I started being able to put a lot more people into my business. But then what happens is, how do you serve them all right. when you're one 
one. So that was painful. And of course, that caused me the key to being able to transform that is seeing your system, being able to see how, what's the question. Because once you see, like, we've got this five step system to build your talk and your irresistible offer, yeah. now, you know, I've got 1,100 people in our current course from all over. You would the never world. sleep if it was just, yeah. I couldn't do that one on one, but I couldn't do it effectively if I didn't distinguish my yeah. system. So that's why we start people with, you know, on the leveraging your sales, you've got to be able to say what's in their head to sell one to many. So that's the first pre-work that you get. And then on the leveraging the delivery, you've got to be able to start to see what are the questions I'm asking every time, what are the steps I'm doing every time. And whenever you guys have that thought, did I already say that part? That part is an indication that there's a system. Mm -hmm. So when you can leverage how you're selling one to many and you can leverage how you're serving, this is where we create an upward spiral and you know where you can really live that dream and the the vastness of the difference that you have and really touching that many people. Yeah. And it's so much easier and so much more possible than people realize. And that is really what we're working to expose people to and, and have people start moving toward, you know, with the simple promise of the Speak to Sell Bootcamp, there's this huge possibility that comes along with it. Yeah. So what's yeah. one of the big milestones, Lisa, that you consider in, in your business from when you went from the corporate America to early on till Till now, what were some of those big turning points? Hmm. You send me that question, right? Let me see. We haven't looked. We haven't looked at this like our advanced talk at all. <laughs> but I think I remember that one. Um, here, okay. Yes. Um, yeah. Well, I already talked about identifying my system. That's really when once that I started to see, yeah. I had eight one-on-one -on -one clients in a row, like eight VIP days, and it, I realized, oh my God, I'm starting the offer with all of them, then we're figuring out the content, then we're positioning, then we're seating, and then we're learn teaching them how to transition into the offer. That's our five steps. Yeah. But I'd say the other big one that, like the predecessor to that, uh, was 2009. I'm in Tucson, Arizona. Again, the kids are newborn and three years old. Michael is in his surgical heart transplant fellowship okay so that's like intense one in one word um, <laughs> not much money but really intense work and you know making a huge difference oh, probably working like, around the clock yeah working around the clock right yeah. and that's what it takes at that point in your in that career so yeah. um i'm home i don't have any time for myself i'm doing everything one-on-one -on -one, one and um the kids are finally sleeping so it's probably one or two in the morning which is really when i got my quiet which totally trashed any chance of working out the next day trying to get, you know you guys you know some of you in this cycle you know something's got to change yeah. and um i remember being in front of my email and an invitation coming through to come to an event called online success blueprint workshop you know a gal named Allie brown used to run it many years ago 2008 2009 uh, it doesn't exist anymore but it spoke right to me. It's like, I've got to figure out a way to get this online. Yeah. And I remember the thing was $3,000. The workshop was $3,000. And I just was like, it's just not even possible. I mean, our rent was like 1500 We didn't even have a car payment, just an old car. And, but it kept, she kept sending emails, you know, and some of you say, oh, people send too many emails. You know what? If she hadn't sent too many emails, my life would not look the way it does right now. Right. So keep that in mind, you know, yeah. when you're following the people that you love their work, they are trying to open a possibility, trying to catch you at the moment where your defenses are down and your heart is open enough right. that you say yes to yourself. Yeah. I mean, that's what we're doing. Yeah. So I you know, got the 15th email about it and yeah, annoyed. I went, <laughs> you, you know why you're annoyed? Because you want to freaking do it and you're right. not letting yourself. Yeah. So I, it's you know, I said, you know what? Yeah. this last email, she said, look, last shot, I have an eight pay. You know, it was eight payments of $300 a month. Or, or four, eight, eight payments of $400 a month, $3,200. Yeah. Or I don't know, I can't do math on it. <laughs> yeah, $3,200. It was about $3,000. I, you know, I said, yeah. you know what, uh, there's, like, that was half our mortgage, but I'm doing it. And it was, you know, it was like March and the thing was in November. So I clicked, I put my credit card in. I mean, you know, we did not have extra money stashed under the pillow. And yeah. um, from that commitment, before, in the eight months, before I even ever got to the workshop, my online business started to take off. I started to see things newly. I started to treat myself differently. I started to interact with my clients differently. I knew I had a new $400 a month payment. And when the payment dropped off, my income was up $400 a month still. And from the time, by the time I got there, I was transformed. It was the first time I made a significant 
uncomfortable stretch investment in myself because it made sense to me. You know, I hope I make that much sense to some of you here today and that you would allow me to be that catalyst for your transformation. And so I said yes. And, you know, investing in myself like that, I got so much out of it that once I got to the seminar, you know, I told myself I'm not going to buy anything else. I'm just going to do, you know, implement what I bought. But she made an even bigger offer there to work with her for a year. Yeah. And I didn't see it coming. And I cer certainly didn't have the money. I just finished the eight pay. And, you know, I think she had a $20,000 level and a $100,000 level. And I'm watching. I'm, I was 40 at the time. So you guys can do the math. Um, and I'm watching uh, some people on the stage that had worked in this program with her, you know, the years before. And I'm thinking, you know what? If I don't do this right now when this is bubbling up and so fierce, even though I have no access to $100,000, right? Um, if I don't figure this out, if I don't do this, I am going to have a woulda, coulda, shoulda. Yeah, story. you think back to your mom. Slender. Yeah. yeah. So I went for it. I We we use like doctor loans that are sort of on the promise that you're going to become a doctor. It's change that I had left from my mom. Yeah. Um, credit cards and I went for it and yeah. thank God you know my husband at the time Michael was like you should do it I mean thank God not everybody has that supportive of a partner and yeah. you know I'll never I, I will always thank him for that and um, in that year Jeremy from saying yes to myself at a hundred thousand dollar level my business went from a hundred thousand that part where I was stuck and I started to see my system leverage my sales with my signature talk and my offer Ten months later, as hard as this is to believe, we did two point two million dollars in sales. Wow! Still from home, That's kids amazing. are still babies. It wasn't even on my vision board. Like I wasn't even thinking. I got to tell you, like I wasn't even thinking that big. I just wanted like a stable ten thousand dollars a month right. instead of all the up and down. So, um, and seven months after making that hundred thousand dollar investment, on the way to that two point two million, yeah. I was selling my own mentorship for a hundred thousand dollars. Wow! So, you know, the big turning point and the big lesson for me that I abide by and I teach because it, it really, for me, is very, very real, yeah. is you've got to be the client that you're looking to attract. You know, if I became a high ticket client that said yes on the spot and hmm. seven months later I had people saying yes to me on the spot at yeah. $100,000 a pop. Yeah. So... If you're out there and you're thinking, well, people love me, but they have to think about it. They don't buy from me. Are you coming to something like this that you love and you know it's for you, but you have yeah. to think about it, right? I mean, this might sound like some kind of a sales tactic, but I am telling you, you apply it anywhere in your life. Yeah. If people are always looking for a deal from you, always wanting to trade, are you always, you see something you want and you're like, can I trade you? Can I get a deal? That's what you're going to attract. Yeah. You know, if you're someone that buys stuff and you say, oh, if the refund thing is in 30 days and you mark it on your calendar and you send it back, you know, are That's you surprised why people are refunding stuff to you? Yeah. So, I mean, it's business karma. It's powerful. Business yeah. Business karma, you know? Yeah. You could psychologically be in that person's, you know, in their position too because that's where you were. Yeah. Yeah. I have so many questions, Lisa. So little time. <laughs> I know. Um, so, I want to ask about just tell us a little bit more about what you're working on now what's exciting sure. i want to hear the queen of sales conversions irresistible offer <laughs> <laughs> well you know i think that you have such a vast audience i know some of the folks listening are here for the inspired inside of the inspired part and i hope that you know we've brought you some of that today sure. and then i know there's some of you that you have a business and you know that you're you know the things i'm saying are ringing true you're sitting on a gold mine and you haven't known how to mine it Right. Or you are reinventing the wheel or or people are telling you how much they love you, but they're not buying from you. So if that's you, um, you know, there's two options of how we can work more together. And uh, I'll give these to you, Jeremy. Maybe you can post them up and hey, we'll link you know, them up for sure. Yeah. Come and take a look. Um, so I put together two special things and they're especially tagged with Inspired Insider. So I will know that you came from Jeremy and really the the offer, the invitation here is very specific to you. Okay. Um, it'll be very related and connected to what we already covered today so you won't feel like you know what is this? It, it, it's reverse engineered. <laughs> right? Yeah. So so there's two different ways you can go. 
if you're like, Lisa, you got me. Um, I am so in. I get it. I would love to come and be part of your Speak to Sell virtual boot camp. Um, it's five modules online. You can access them from anywhere. Uh, our signature talk generator is there so you can watch the video, plug in and pop. Out comes your talk that you've been wanting to do for 10 years. Um, it comes with all the bonuses I mentioned, like the offer communication work immediately. It's a 45 minute webinar and a worksheet. This thing you've been struggling with about how to say what you do, you do this and you'll be like, why did I suffer so long? Right. Um, you also start immediately on our unique branded system work, which is really how to see your system. It's my system to see your system. And this is really the catalyst for yeah, my multiple. That's huge. Huge. It's huge. I mean, yeah. it's funny. We put it in this pre-work, so sometimes people think, oh, I'm system just going to go. System is not mind. sexy, but that yeah. is the best. Yeah, that is gold. Yeah. It's gold, right? And, yeah. and, and really, then the whole structure of the talk and the offer is really about you pouring your expertise, your blessing, your great work, your knowledge into our structure. Just fill in the blanks with who you are. And it comes out authentic, fun, and yet the you get to be you, and the structure sells a ton. Yeah. You know, and when you don't have a structure, what happens is you you think, well, I'll just channel it, I'll download it, I'll connect with my audience, and then you're like, but 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 but, you know, I don't, I didn't, nothing's moving, so you start pushing and you start nudging and you become the exact thing you were trying to avoid. So this structure, structure in general, gives you freedom. So if you'd like to join me in Speak to Sell Bootcamp, and when you register, you'll get access, and then the next time, uh, twice a year, I actually lead a Q and A that goes through all five modules. So the next time it comes around. Uh, as a bonus, you know, this is why you want to use the Inspired Insider link. You will be invited to join a five call live Q&A with me. Nice. And so you can register now, get access now. And then the next time that comes around, it comes around twice a year. You know, I pick up the phone, I answer questions, you hear other people, I can personally coach you. Nice. So that's a piece of it. So for that, if you're ready to go and you want to jump into the Speak to Sell Bootcamp with this special link, Normally, if you go to my website, lisasasevich.com, you're going to find it for $2,000. It's 1997. With this special link, you'll save $1,000 really wow. because of Jeremy and because of the Inspired That's Insider. That's amazing. I had no idea. That's great. <laughs> so very generous. Seven. Um, and I believe there's even a pay plan, um, although you can save a few hundred extra dollars if you do the pay in full. And the link is boostsalestoday.com forward slash inspired insider boost sales today dot com forward slash inspired insider yeah. so that's for those of you that are like yes I want to be the client I want to attract it's me I feel it I'm having a breakthrough I'm going for it takes you straight to a description of the course and a place to click the button enter your credit card get registered get the pre-work and away we go okay so that's one possibility yeah. now there may be others of you listening that are like you know, I'd, I'd like to hear a little more. Uh, I'd love to have another, like a 90 minute free training. You know, you, we got half of it done today. So I'd love to have a little more, go into the mindset work, take it a little deeper with you, Lisa. And I am interested in your speak to sell. So the other option, and also you may have a friend that you're like, oh, I wish my friend was here today. Um, the other option is you can go to free sales training from lisa.com forward slash inspired insider free sales training from lisa.com forward slash inspired insider and what that's going to give you is a free training from me a 90 minute training called boost sales using irresistible offers it's a webinar you'll be able to choose when you want to watch it and get it scheduled and we'll take this deeper and you know again you'll be invited to join us in the speak to sell boot camp so two options. One, one is like, I'm ready. I heard what I need to hear. Let's get going. You know, because frankly, the cost, you guys, of not having this tool every day, I walk around because of where my heart is and I see well-meaning people who are all about making a difference, whether they're a nonprofit or for-profit. This works in both, by the way. I see them stepping over thousands of dollars and pushing aside people that have their hands out or saying help me because they're not structuring their offer and a presentation that leads to it. So those are my invitations. You know, boostsalestoday.com forward slash inspired insider. If you're ready to go, you'll save a thousand dollars today. And 
Uh, if you want to take a little slower path, but you know that no problem. We've got a great training for you at free sales training from lisa.com forward slash inspired insider. Yeah. Lisa, thank you so much. And people can also, your main website, they can check everything out is theinvisibleclothes.com too. Actually, right? yeah, you can go to theinvisibleclothes.com. I think it even takes you to the same yeah. place as sassavich.com. All roads lead to the queen of sales conversion. Yes. Um, so, you know, Google us, whatever you like. But these yeah. specific sites are really the ones that Jeremy is giving you are really designed to go together, like to leverage the time that we've already spent together. Yeah. So, uh, but but feel free to see all that we do. I mean, we yeah. have, you know, a teleseminar and webinar sales system that helps you once you've got your talk and then you want to take it online. It, then, you know, for me, it's like if I've got my phone and my laptop, I can be, you know, leading a class for 600 people, while, you know, in Rome with my kids, you know, they're, they're playing for an hour and you're really, it's really, um, you will set yourself free with our systems and the yeah. place to start is a speak to sell boot camp. Yeah. I love telling all my stories. Thanks for I, kind of I love them, Lisa. in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I appreciate your time, Lisa. Thank you so much. I could have gone on for hours and hours, but, uh, I'll, uh, you know, end it now. I appreciate it. People definitely need to check out your stuff. It's just hugely valuable. So thank you. Well, you're a fabulous yeah. host. I have to tell you, you you had me sharing things I hadn't even thought right. of sharing, and and I want to thank you because I saw connections in why I do what I do because of your great questions. And I've watched your other interviews, and oh, I hope you. that everybody listening will you know spend some more time on the site diving in because it is a real talent, and it comes from a genuine caring and a genuine place of wanting to make a difference. And yeah. so. I know that's what we share. Yes. So thanks for, you know, being my partner in that. Thanks, Lisa. I appreciate it. Thank you.